Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. What I've got here is one of my 555 timer signal generators. Uh, it's pulsing at about, I'd say, about 10 hertz right now. You can actually see the LED flashing. And this is a, uh, a 433 megahertz transmitter and a receiver. Now, they're very close together, but I wanted to get them all in the same shot. They're both sharing the same 5 uh, volt the 5 volt power supply and ground. Uh, but that's just because of convenience. Um, what I'm actually doing is I'm transmitting this signal from here to here. Now it's not very far away, but again, I just wanted to show you the uh, uh, show you uh, basically how it works. The transmitter has three pins: uh, data, ground, and VCC. VCC is five volts. Uh, the Receiver has a VCC ground and two data pins. The two data pins are connected uh, and they're in the middle and they are labeled on the board as well. VCC 5 volts, ground, DC ground, and, and two data lines. And so they solder directly into a PCB. Really easy to use. There are two areas, one area on each, where you can solder in your own external antenna to uh, to lengthen the transmit distance. And that what you need to do is take a, a piece of wire about 18 centimeters long. You can twirl it up, or you can make it a straight, uh, a, you know, a straight line up, 18 centimeters. And uh, so that's optional. This will transmit this frequency uh, probably about 10 meters properly without the antennas. And with the antennas, it probably about to up, up to about 50 uh, to 75 meters. I'm not going to be putting antennas on in this video, but there are little pins. In the case of the transmitter, on the upper right hand side, labeled I or ANT for antenna, and on the receiver side, um, right here, labeled ANT. So you can just put a wire in there, solder into place, and there you go. Um, so it's in, they're neat little transmitter and receiver uh, modules. They can transmit properly and receive up to two kilohertz. It's not good for audio, but you can transmit about. Uh, 2 kilohertz. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my oscilloscope right now. Right now, because the uh, LED, the the uh, 555 timer module is pulsing at around 10 hertz, uh, it might be hard to see from here, but it's basically on off, on off, on off, on off, and this is what we're receiving. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transmit. Uh, I know it, it only transmits between 0 and 2,000 hertz um, maximum, so or at least at least correctly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pop off the jumper and place it into my secondary mode, which is between 100 hertz and 1 kilohertz, I believe. There we go. Transmitting quite nicely. So I'll just change the frequency. So it's a nice, perfect transmission. I'll lessen the frequency. This is transmitting wirelessly. So again, I just wanted to give you a demonstration. Not much to it. To, uh, to wire it up, very easy to do, and uh, yeah, you're all set. Uh, I'll be selling it for an inexpensive price at engineeringshock.com and electroniclessons.com. Please don't hesitate to let me know if you have any questions. Take care and uh, thanks for watching.